Hello, I'm Don Lindsay, President and CEO of Tech. And thank you for joining me to learn about our company, our focus strategy, and our plan for future growth. Tech is Canada's largest base metals company with high quality assets in attractive jurisdictions across North and South America. And today we are amongst the lowest carbon intensity producers of copper, zinc, and steel making coal. And we're a recognized leader in ESG performance and we have a proven track record of operational excellence. We have operations in Canada, the US, Chile and Peru, and we are focused on growing our copper production. In fact, we expect to double our consolidated copper production through our flagship QB2 copper project in Chile, which is currently under construction and due for completion in the second half of next year. We also have significant value potential from a portfolio of copper development options, some of which are in what we call Project Satellite. Now this is a time of significant opportunity for the mining sector and for the commodities that we produce at Tech. In the near term, economic recovery, spurred by the rollout of COVID-19 vaccines and unprecedented government stimulus, will certainly fuel commodity demand. And then looking further out, the global transition to a low carbon economy will drive even greater sustained demand for green metals. Green metals include zinc, where we galvanize steel and extend the lifespan of important infrastructure. And then there's steel and steel making coal to build rapid transit and low carbon infrastructure. And then most significantly, huge new demand for copper itself, which is an essential component of clean technology. For example, renewable energy systems can require up to 10 times more copper compared with traditional systems. And a zero emission electric vehicle needs up to four times as much copper as one with an internal combustion engine. And as a result, we anticipate copper demand to more than double from now until 2050. And tech is one of the best positioned companies globally to capitalize on that growth. We're already a significant copper producer from our existing four mines, but we are also an industry leader in near-term copper production growth with a significant copper growth pipeline. By 2023, Tech will double our consolidated copper production as we complete construction of QB2. And this compares to just 21% average copper production growth at our diversified mining peers and only 11% growth from copper companies, which is according to Wood Mackenzie. So Tech provides investors with unparalleled copper growth exposure at a time when copper demand is poised for substantial growth in order to fuel that low carbon transition. Accelerating copper growth is a cornerstone of tech's business strategy. Our immediate priority is to focus entirely on growing only our copper production. And by doing so, we want to rebalance our portfolio to become a majority green metals producer with carbon, including steel making coal, as a much smaller overall proportion of our business. The completion of QB2 is expected to add 290,000 tons of copper to our annual production or 315,000 of copper equivalent production each year. And we have significant further growth potential beyond that. QB2 only utilizes about 18% of the massive QB reserve and resource base so we have future potential options to grow production, increase mine life, or both. We also have a robust pipeline of other growth projects in various stages, which we can consider either for future development or to realize value through transactions as demand for quality copper assets increases. And all of this is undertaken with a focus on disciplined capital allocation. We balance opportunities for green metals growth with providing cash returns to shareholders. And I'm proud to say that Tech has in fact returned $6.8 billion in cash to our shareholders since 2003. And we're continuing to strengthen our existing high quality assets through our Race 21 Technology and Innovation Program, which is transforming our business by harnessing cutting edge technologies, including artificial intelligence and automation to drive a step change improvement in productivity, efficiency, safety and sustainability. And of course, we remain committed to strong environmental, social and governance performance. 
Tech is already one of the lowest carbon intensity miners globally. And we've set ambitious targets to build on that track record, including being carbon neutral across all of our operations by 2050. This is indeed an exciting time for our industry and for tech as the global transition to a cleaner, lower carbon economy drives new demand for green metals. We are rebalancing our portfolio and growing our copper business to help meet that demand and supporting a stronger, more sustainable future for everyone. Thank you. It is now my pleasure to turn it over to Jonathan Price, our Chief Financial Officer, to discuss tech's approach to capital allocation. This is our framework for how we ensure that every dollar generated is used responsibly and in the best interests of our shareholders and our broader stakeholder base. Tech's capital allocation framework provides transparency into how we allocate capital. It maps out the rigorous and disciplined decision-making process that management undertakes for how capital is deployed in our business and to ensure we are returning cash to our shareholders. Of course, we begin by optimizing performance at our existing operations to generate strong cash flow. We then fund our sustaining capital requirements. These are investments that we need to make to maintain our existing operations and to ensure continued long-term safety, sustainability, and productivity. Next, we fund our committed growth capital to generate long-term value. These are funding commitments that have been previously sanctioned as part of our growth plans, such as the QB2 copper project currently under construction in Chile. After that, we allocate cash as required to ensure the strength of our balance sheet and to maintain investment grade credit metrics. And we provide cash back to our shareholders through our base 20 cent per share annual dividend, which is paid quarterly. From the remaining available cash flow, we return at least 30% to shareholders, either through a supplemental dividend or share buybacks. 30% is the minimum, and we have a track record of exceeding this amount. We go through a competitive, rigorous decision-making process for allocating remaining capital, so any potential growth opportunities have to demonstrate very strong long-term value for shareholders, or the capital will instead be returned directly as further supplemental shareholder distributions. Of note, our strategy is to advance growth for green metals, particularly copper, and not growth in carbon assets. Since 2003, Tech has returned $6.8 billion in cash to our shareholders, 4.5 billion of that as dividends, and 2.3 billion through share buybacks. We've also maintained a strong balance sheet Tech has 6.5 billion of liquidity as at February 17, 2021, an investment grade credit rating and no significant debt due between now and 2030. We have also taken a prudent approach to major project development through our QB2 partnership and project financing plan, which dramatically reduced Tech's QB2 funding. This strong balance sheet and disciplined approach to capital allocation achieves two key priorities. First, it provides transparency for our shareholders on how we balance capital between future value creation and shareholder returns while maintaining a strong balance sheet. And second, it ensures we are making the absolute best use of every dollar on behalf of our shareholders. It's now my pleasure to turn it over to Red Conger, our Chief Operating Officer, to provide an overview of our flagship QB2 copper project and an update on the progress of construction. Red and I have been working together for six months now. He brings to tech over 40 years of experience in the mining industry and working with large copper projects in Chile and Peru and the United States. Over to you, Red. First, I'm excited about all aspects of this endeavor from one end to the other, and I'm very proud to be a member of this team. Alex Christopher, our senior vice president responsible for this project, and I have been on site working directly with our teams on two separate occasions over the last three months. We are pleased with the current set of circumstances. Let me provide some perspectives relative to other projects of this magnitude I have led. There are always challenges, although executing this effort during a global pandemic adds another dimension. 
The response by this team has been phenomenal. We have performed over 20,000 PCR tests on employees before their shift commences, pre-screening them to keep the virus away from our work sites. Chile has cited this construction effort as a model for managing workplace health and safety during these unprecedented times. Transparency with local and federal governments, uh, we've, we've had rapid, frequent communications with them, and as you all know, government support is key to our success in this effort. Bechtel indicates this is one of their best performing, performing projects worldwide for managing the spread of the virus. And now we have Gary Medal, a Chilean soccer defenseman hero, joining our team, helping us with our best defense effort against the coronavirus. Chile is doing an impressive job administering COVID-19 vaccinations, over 4 million to date, 21% of the population. And now our medical teams at the Project and Mindsight clinics are administering vaccine to our employees and contractors in accordance with the national eligibility protocols. These positive developments bode well for project momentum and upside potential going forward. The environmental and social accomplishments have been outstanding in my experience. One example is the archeological rigor we have adhered to. The discovery and preservation of mummies dating from 1000 BC is invaluable and a significant contribution to regional and national heritage. Tech entered into a public-private partnership with the government to further explore areas adjacent to our project site that may contain additional cultural heritage artifacts. We're working with regional Quechua communities to preserve and enhance segments of Inca trails and petroglyphs. And importantly, we've not had any social issues or construction interruptions despite social unrest in the country. Now a little bit about the construction. It's great to be working with Bechtel and many of the major Chilean contracting firms again. Bechtel has provided us with their A-team on this project. It's the biggest effort they have on the go in the Americas, and we're all proud of where we stand on this. I've been through many of the housing facilities and shared meals with the crews in the dining halls. They are first rate, and we are proud of the hygiene protocols and the quality overall. The offshore marine works, while not on our critical path, are key to our early commissioning of the desalinated water supply system. Bechtel, marine specialists, and several major contractors have been collaborating closely the last three months to improve construction sequencing and productivity. These efforts are yielding much improved cycle times. We had a very positive review on site with these teams in early February. The tailing dam is another area that is not on our critical path. However, an improvement in scheduled completion dates would be a big benefit to our commissioning timeline overall. Tech has assumed additional scope for construction of the tailing storage facility, including the east abutment excavation. This is serving to improve the overall construction progress and coupled with the commissioning of our new CAT 794 truck fleet gives us an additional opportunity to improve the construction and commissioning timeline of the dam and the freshwater system. The critical path grinding area is proceeding well. The line one mills are all in place, turning freely, and drive motors are being installed. Line two mills are being set in place this month. I've never been associated with a project where most of the equipment and materials of construction are already at site, ready for assembly. These components are all electronically tagged and are efficiently inventoried with drone flyovers. We have many more construction work fronts than I have ever seen. This provides upside to increase employee levels when conditions allow. Many of these work front opportunities are in the grinding area, which is currently the critical path. We are at 40% plus complete and are on schedule to start producing copper in the second half of 2022. Our team is doing an outstanding job of keeping our employees and contractors healthy and safe. We are creatively collaborating with Bechtel and the various contractors to build on our ramp up success to date. I've never been more excited in my career about the opportunities that we have in front of us and I look forward to updating you on our progress throughout the year. At Tech, we're always looking to the future to see how innovation and technology can improve our business and our sector. 
Throughout our history, we have pioneered many innovations and leading-edge technologies that are now standard in the global mining industry. Tech has a proven track record of developing new ways to improve how we mine. To accelerate innovation, we are implementing a new business transformation program called RACE21. Renew, automate, connect, and empower. RACE21 is about modernizing our technology foundation and designing a future operating model that empowers our people and delivers improved safety, productivity, and sustainability. It uses a connected platform across our business to foster an innovative mindset. Drawing from the latest technology, our team identifies areas where innovation can improve our business. We then test these ideas in a real-world setting at our operations, transforming the way we mine. Race 21 is being brought to life by our people. People with ideas and ingenuity. People who are empowered to create new opportunities for today and tomorrow. Race 21. Improving our business. Empowering our people. Generating real value and making the future of mining better.